Many Kenyans cannot even afford one meal a day. You know, you always talk of three meals a day. Many Kenyans cannot afford one meal a day. It's a problem. Many Kenyans are living uh, below a dollar a day. Mr. Speaker, this is a very worrying situation. The implications are that um, the level of uh, crime will uh, certainly increase because people have to live. Uh, people have to fend for their families. Young men will, find, will look for alternative means of uh, putting food on the table for their families. So this is a situation that must be arrested and must be given uh, priority by the government of the day. And when I say government of the day, I mean the executive and even parliament. In whatever that we do uh, in our, our role as uh, legislators, we must make sure that uh, we come up with uh, 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 solutions uh, to this problem. We should not just leave it to the executive. But of course, the bigger part is supposed to be played uh, by the executive. I think Honorable Cherarige has uh, put it very well that uh, one, of w one of the ways to arrest this is for the government to ensure that there's, there's subsidy in the farm inputs. Where I come from, Speaker, and where you come from, uh, Mr. Speaker, this is a planting season. Many farmers have not planted. Why? Because of the price of inputs. They cannot afford the seedlings. They cannot afford fertilizer. Mr. Speaker, what is the government doing about this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Both the national government and the county governments, where we come from. Nothing is happening. Farmers cannot plant. What do we expect? If they don't plant during this planting season, Mr. Speaker, there's going to be farming. There's going to be serious farming. So we don't want to come up with a knee-jerk solution when there is famine now you're trying to look for money to supply food. Why can't we arrest the situation now by ensuring that farmers have, uh, have, uh, have, uh, have uh, seeds to plant and have uh, sub uh, subsidized fertilizer that they can use during this uh, uh, planting season. So I blame both governments um, uh, on this. Mr. Speaker, the beginning point where the rain started beating us, uh, in my opinion, is uh, when we let the prices of fuel skyrocket. And the moment the price of fuel goes up, we all know that's economics 101, the price of everything else will go up. We have spoken in this house so many times about the rising cost of uh, fuel, Mr. Speaker, but nothing seems to be happening. We just want to urge uh, uh, the government, as they respond to this very important statement, to put measures in place so that uh, we can contain uh, the skyrocketing uh, price of fuel, and I'm sure that will be able to uh, bring down uh, the cost of living. 